As massive data breaches have become extremely costly and highly publicized, the problem of how to deal with unknown files is becoming more important to organizations around the world. As in most cases, unknown files are the root cause of these data breaches. Traditional layered security products rely on trying to match new malware against their database of known bad files. This method has proven to be inadequate due to the sheer volume of malware being released into the wild every day. In addition to being unable to keep up and maintain their databases of known malware, these legacy products also operate under a default allow philosophy. If they cannot identify the file as malware, they will allow it to pass through and potentially infect the endpoint. Remember, all it takes is one bad file to start an attack that could lead to a massive data breach. During this demonstration, I will show you how Komodo's runtime automatic threat containment approach prevents unknown files from infecting endpoints and gaining entry to your network via its patent-pending auto sandbox default deny approach and secure, highly compatible container, all while ensuring a very favorable end-user experience. Let's first discuss the problem with unknown files. It's late at night and suddenly there's a knock on your door. You first put on a blindfold and then go to the door. Would you let a stranger into your house? The answer is no. The same approach should be taken with unknown files. These unknown files might contain malware that can infect an endpoint and use it to gain access to your network and launch an advanced persistent threat and cause a massive data breach. Yet millions of endpoints around the world that operate on legacy systems allow unknown files into their endpoint every day. A file exists in three states. First, a file can be bad, meaning that it is malware. Second, a file can be good, such as a legitimate application. Third, if a file is unable to be positively identified as good or bad, it is unknown. Legacy security solutions such as antivirus, anti-spam, spyware, etc. compare the incoming unknown file against a database of known malware using what's referred to as a blacklist. If there's a problem, it is rejected as bad. The problem is there are over 390,000 new malware samples being released into the wild every day. It is this sheer volume of new malware that overwhelms antivirus vendors' ability to keep up to the point where they are only able to identify 45 to 50 percent of the unknown files as bad. In addition to being unable to keep up with the malware volume, antivirus and other legacy solutions rely on a default allow way of working. This means that if the security solution was unable to detect the unknown file as malware, it is allowed to pass into the endpoint where it can potentially infect the host. This is clearly not a desirable situation as a single file has the potential to launch an advanced, persistent threat and start the extraction of sensitive data. Another approach that has been used is whitelisting. This attempts to limit allowed applications and files to specific types of programs. Like antivirus, it has not proven to be totally effective by itself as it faces similar issues. How does a vendor keep up with all the legitimate applications being produced every day, including in-house applications? It's generally not combined with blacklisting either, so unknown files remain inadequately addressed. Komodo is one of the few vendors to combine blacklisting with whitelisting. As the top digital certificate provider in the world, Komodo has an extensive whitelist of good signed applications. This has the net effect of reducing the number of unknown files that must be evaluated. A better approach to address the unknown files problem is sandboxing and containerization. These are not new concepts, allowing the unknown file to run in a secure container until its true nature can be determined. There are a number of different sandbox approaches. However, let's take a look at Komodo's. Komodo's approach is termed Runtime Automatic Threat Containment, or RATC for short. First and foremost, its approach is a default deny philosophy. Instead of allowing unknown files to pass through and potentially infect an endpoint host, Komodo uses its patent-pending auto sandbox approach to put the unknown file into a secure, compatible, and proven container. As stated before, Komodo can leverage existing security layers and adds its whitelisting ability to evaluate an unknown file. If the file's intent is still not known, it is automatically moved to a secure container. This secure container has been proven by over 80 million users who have run and tested the Komodo container in a consumer environment. A consumer environment is significantly less controlled and standard than a business environment. Being able to replicate a user's computing environment is paramount. 
in order to allow the application to run. The Komodo container is able to do this while minimally impacting the host endpoint's resources, not requiring expensive hardware upgrades and keeping the end user happy. While in the container, the unknown file is allowed to run, which provides a positive user experience, allowing them to do their work. It is constantly evaluated, however, including being uploaded to Komodo Labs. Once its true nature has been determined, it is either classified as good or bad and handled appropriately. Let's see how the Komodo container works in the real world. We'll start with the virus total site and show how a zero day file created for this demo is not detected by antivirus solutions as malware. This sample malware is designed to permanently delete all the files on the endpoint's desktop. Note that not one of the 57 engines has detected the file as malicious. If this file was launched on an endpoint, every virus total listed vendor would not have flagged it as malware and by default allow the file through to drop its payload. However, due to its unique default deny approach, Komodo would react differently based on the file not being on the whitelist or on the blacklist and would therefore categorize the file as unknown and would redirect the unknown file to the Komodo Auto Sandbox instead of allowing it to pass to the endpoint operating system. One of the key things to point out with Komodo's approach is that it does not require you to rip out your existing security solution layers. The Komodo solution can complement your existing antivirus to ensure that unknown files are not allowed into the endpoint until their true nature is known. Let's now take a closer look at the Komodo Auto Sandbox. I'm now going to disable the antivirus real-time scanning. Now I'll disable the host intrusion prevention feature. Finally, I'll disable the firewall. All standard defenses have now been disabled. Just to prove it, the antivirus has now been disabled. The firewall has now been disabled. The only feature enabled is the auto sandbox, which is all that stands between the unknown file and the operating system. Let's now run the unknown file, which we know to be malware that was missed by the antivirus scan. You're seeing an alert from the Komodo Auto Sandbox. In a managed environment, the admin would have set a policy to disable on-screen alerts for users in order to remove the responsibility for making a decision on what to do with the file from them. The alerts have been enabled for this demo. Let's now see what would have happened if the protection from Komodo Runtime Automatic Threat Containment wasn't there. Please pay attention to the four files on the desktop. I'll now rerun the test malware. The four user files have now disappeared, deleted by the malware. Note that the recycle bin is empty, the malware has permanently deleted the files, and the only way to get them back would be from a backup. To summarize what you've seen and heard here today, the threat from unknown files infecting an endpoint and causing a massive data breach is growing every day. As more than 12 million new malware variants are released every month, traditional security solutions that depend on a blacklist are unable to keep pace with this flood of malware and targeted attacks at the endpoint. Compounding this is the fact that these systems are designed to allow an unknown file through by default, and as you know, it only takes one file to infect a host. Komodo, with its runtime automatic threat containment approach, adds a whitelist analysis to a blacklist evaluation and its patent pending auto sandbox. Komodo's approach can complement your existing security layers, not requiring you to rip them out, allowing you to still use them as a first layer of defense. If, after the blacklist whitelist analysis, a file is still unknown, Komodo applies a default deny philosophy that will use its patent pending auto sandbox method to place the unknown file into a secure, tested container for further analysis. While in this secure, highly efficient and compatible container, the unknown file can still execute in case the user legitimately needed the file. The analysis can include sending the unknown file to Komodo Labs for evaluation, and once its true nature is determined, it can be flagged as good or bad and treated accordingly to your policy. Thank you for your time. For more information, please visit containment.komodo.com.